There is a giant crowd at Silverglade because today is the day that the new Celle Francais has been released. Look at everybody. Oh, somebody's got their twin horses here. Besties. But before we look at the horses, there is a free code right now. Oh, hey, we're twinsies now. So Star Stable's been giving out StarCoin codes like crazy. So let's see what this code gives. Hopefully it's StarCoin. So the code is Secret Sabine. Let's go ahead and redeem it. And what does it say? You receive new star coins. Okay, how many? Yeah, I got 25 free star coins. So make sure you use that code. It's only good for 24 hours. That's all. So here at Silverglade, you can find the new horses, but they're so cute. There are seven new colors. <gasps> they just look so sweet. They look so cute. What's up with the special movement? I don't know. We should find out too. So let's take a closer look at all of the new Celle Francais horses. So the first color we're gonna look at is the Flaxen Chestnut, who I'm gonna name Fire Chip. I wanted to name Fire chip, hot chip, you know, like a flaming Doritos color. But Star Stable removed the word hot. Look at the color of this horse. I love these bright, bright, bright chestnutty colors. Ooh, it's almost time for the Moreland Championship. All right, let's pick his feet and get him all ready for a race. Oh, look at him dancing. Look at, now he's kind of like cross-stepping. Fire Chip, he's fired up and ready to go. Give him some water. Look, he's still dancing. He's so happy. Brush his nice and fiery hot coat. He's leveled up and ready to go. Oh, here's another Fire Chip. What did she name her horse? Dewey, cute. Look at his run. It just, it looks like it's requiring a lot of effort. Like he's really pounding in his hooves into the dirt. Oh, here's another horse. Look at, we all have the same color. Pepper Pop and Waylon. Oh, that's a good name. Waylon's a great name. The idle movement on these horses it just looks like they are just ready to go. See, look at him. Look at him dancing already. Kind of pulling at the reins. Well, let's get him signed up for the championship. Oh, yes. Here's another one right here. Yammy. <laughs> oh, here's Dewey again. And who do we have here? World Walker. Oh, that's fun. I have a horse named World Party. That's what it reminds me of. And Angel Walker. We're rearing. Oh, look at, she's doing the special movement. There's your special movement. My horse can't do it just yet because they're not a level seven. Unfortunately, you have to wait to unlock it. I like how they rear, how they just kind of like kick their legs out. Like they're really saying, get back. So if this horse refuses a jump, you will definitely know it. They will kick out at the poles. Why do the new horses move like that -y? Yes, let's go. Okay, of course the fire chip is not gonna be on fire for this race just because he's brand new. Woo, but we're going. Oh, look at it. We're like, no, I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. I was so excited because there was all four of the flax and chestnuts together. So I, I missed the flag. I'm in last place. The jump is so cute. Their ears go back. They just kind of float down to the ground. Everyone's waiting for me. Sorry, guys. Sorry to make everybody wait. <laughs> My horse was just uh, not leveled up yet. I've been training Fire Chip and now I have him unlocked it to level seven. So now we can see some of his special trick movements. So he can do this. This, whoop, which yes, that is much different than the rear. So this is the special trick right here. It's this whole entire segment. And this movement right here, like we saw at the championship, when I first saw this, I was like, whoa, did the horse go lame? What, what is going on? But there's a reason why this horse can do this bouncy jump, which we're gonna find out right here at Jorvik Stables. They added in some new obstacles. Oh, look at all the Celle Francais here. That's like all the horses. So you can actually go over to the little board thing here and you can pick the different obstacles and how you want them to look. These are all brand new, which I really love that they include all this. This is really great for role play, for practicing, you know, like you're training your horse. It's really cute. So look at this. Look how cute. But now let's go and try this. Who's going to do it? Okay, she's going to do it. She's going to do it with her black horse. Is she going? Who's going? Should I go? Maybe I'll go. I'll go. Oh, she's going. We'll both go over. There we go. We can all hop over the jumps just like that. And this is the only breed, unfortunately, that you can do this on. It's really special. I wish all the horses can do it. And you kind of have to time it perfectly or else it's like this. And then he's kind of hitting all the poles. And again, you can only unlock this at level seven. Oops, he just kind of ran right through those. Let's see if he can do it here. I don't know why he would jump over those like that, but you know, you never know. You jump over the low, low pole. Oh no. So how fun is that? Let's see. See, look, she's going to do it. There she goes. Okay. But see, the movements are off a little bit. You got to get it perfect. You got to get it just perfectly. Look, she's going to go in with her pesofino. Oh yeah. See, doesn't look right. Oh, whoa. What happened? Jump. Nope. Didn't plan it right. They should have like a start line. So you know exactly how to time it. Go. There we go. Nope. Okay. Timing is off. It looks like the horse wants to buck you off. Oh, I kind of have it. Timing kind of, kind of have it. She's going. They're going for it. There we go. Did they do it? 
Yeah, yeah, they got it, they got it. So isn't that fun? Now let's go back and check out the other colors. Good job, hot chip. I mean, fire chip. Let's see, what's the next color? Let's check out the black. This is Onyx. So cute. I love the markings on him, especially the big blaze. I feel like we don't have enough horses in Star Stable with really big white blaze markings on them. Let's see, what did she name hers? Oh, his name is just A. That is a great name. Let's get Onyx all groomed. Pick those feet. Oh, rearing. Go ahead and get something to drink. Do a little dance, brush that coat. Oh, another rear. This horse is fiery too. And level up. Let's see how she does show jumping. Pretty good. I think this is gonna be my show jumping horse. I feel like they kind of just pause in the air as they're like jumping like, woo, pause. Like they like slow down almost. I love seeing a black horse too that doesn't just have a star on their forehead or just like very minimal markings. So hopefully Star Stable can kind of trend in this direction of more horses with blaze and kind of unusual markings too. Good job, Onyx. <laughs> Oh no, everybody's running in place. Something's going on with my game. Only that person over there on their Tennessee Walker can move. Oh, and this one right here. Everyone's just running, but nowhere to go. Next, let's check out the Flea Bitten Rose Gray. This is crystal light because it looks like a bunch of light kind of fragmented like a crystal. Yes, no, no, kind of. Okay, well it does to me. Well, they also have a crystal light, but named Lily. Bro, the coats are so cute and they look really good, but the gates. <gasps> look at crystal light. I mean, I love a flea bitten horse. Look at the dancing. Okay, I'm thinking this horse wants to get into the dressage arena. <laughs> Time to level up. This one is so cute. I've been so eagerly waiting for this one because this is the one that Star Stable first sneak peeked. Do you guys remember that? Hello. Uh-huh, that was the muzzle we were looking at. <laughs> look at crystal light next to Onyx. Oh, they look so good. Wait, okay, wait, they're kind of crossing into each other. I imagine this one's gonna be quite popular. Oh, they're moving, they're dancing. Yeah, they definitely cross into each other <laughs> with that movement. I think the flea bitten is done really nicely too, like how it's concentrated in some areas and then they kind of backed off with some of the coloring like right here on the top. Looks pretty good. Now the coat color that I think is gonna be one of the most popular is the chestnut pinto, who I'm gonna call Life Spark. And I also so have given him the long mane and tail. I mean, you can kind of see, look, there's already a couple of them right here. She named Summer Love and, oh, she got the Mohawk. Richo. Oh, Fast Care is moving quickly. Last call for name ideas for Sooty Buckskin. Sally France. Cookie. I'm so basic, bro. All right, I'm gonna spin the wheel now. Why am I so entertained waiting for the name? I am too. What are you gonna name it? Oh, she named hers Apple. She also got the Mohawk. She named hers River. So here is Life Spark, who has that wild mane and tail. So this is the longest version you can give this breed as of right now. I do like the mohawk though. The mohawk looks great because you can really see that marking that's right on the forehead, you know, as the blaze kind of separates right there. Oh, here comes someone else. What do they have? What do they have? Would you name your horse? Oh, that's Apple. So did that one girl buy her sooty buckskin yet? I don't think she's named it yet, but this person over here has their sooty buckskin that they named Coldplay. This sooty buckskin pinto is a brand new color. And I think this is also going to be one of the most popular out of all these colors, followed by the chestnut pinto. I'm in love with this color too. And I'm going to name mine sweet drink. Oh, I had to go with sweet drink because I think his coat color, he looks like a chocolate and vanilla milkshake. Doesn't he? And I also gave him the long mane and tail style. Oh, he's so cute. That color is just gorgeous. Let's have him level up. Good job, sweet drink. Yeah, these two colors, I really like these two colors. It's hard to compete with a paint. I mean, they're just stunning. Their patterns are unique and different. So these two are just gorgeous. Next, let's check out the bay. This is going to be Richie. Oh, look, we got the winner of the name. The winner of the name thing is Domino. Good job. Oh, there's another bay. Oh wait, that's a pony. That's a Dartmoor. <gasps> they look so similar. Richie has such a warm coat color. Like that is a very, very nice rich bay. So this is the alternate blunt cut style. It's a little hard to tell the difference. Probably not worth actually getting it because this is the default one. Oh, look, they're in sync. This is the default one. And then this one is additional star coins to get this one. And they look really similar, really similar. So probably not really worth it to get that additional main style. You can just get the default one. It's basically the same thing. That nice warm color and very shiny coat. Let's put fire chip in here too. Yeah, look at that. They're both such warm, warm coat colors. Well, there's definitely one more we can add in and it's going to be a cool tone. Last color to check out is the steel gray. And this horse is gonna be Ash. Ash is hiding way back here. And they're also hiding a little star under their hair. <gasps> Sweetness, so sweet. And they've got blue eyes too. Oh, I'm in love. Wait, I'm stuck behind the horse's butt. Okay, there we go, we're good. 
I love Ash's ash color. I also feel like this is a unique color. Very beautiful. So here they all are. Okay, they're not arranged in a nice aesthetic row, but we can see all seven of the new Celly Francais that just got released. The old Gen 1 Celly Francais want to say hi to the new Gen 3. So who is this one kind of like? I guess this is the flaxen chestnut right here. So there's the Gen 1 and then now the Gen 3. Too bad we didn't ever get a Gen 2 of these. It's it's nice to have like the 1, 2, and 3, I think. So there is the new improved Celly Francais. Here's the Gen 1 in Bay who is clearly the Gen 1 version of Richie the Bay. There we go, Gen 1, Gen 3. Now there's one more color. We've got this one, the white, the gray, as the Gen 1, which now has the new updated flea bitten one as the Gen 3. But I still think it would be nice to have a very light gray or a white Celly Francais in the new Gen 3, which we just might get, because there's supposed to be one more recolor that's supposed to come during the Equestrian Festival next month. So I don't know what the color is, just yet, but there will be one more Gen 3 color added to this whole collection of beautiful horses. Now there's one more thing to check out, Star Stable added in show jumping. So who should I take? Who should I take? Let's take Sweet Drink. Oh, there's another gray. What did they name their gray? Windrunner. Oh, there's more grays over here. Grimberg and Moon. Ooh, pretty. Oh, look at There's a bunch of Sweet Drinks. Milk Boy. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go over to the riding hall and then the Silver Glade Championship is about to start too. And I want to see some more of the new horses at the championship. Would you like to try out show jumping course with some new competition rules? I'm sure you've entered plenty of show jumping races in Jorvik already and you may have been surprised at the lack of shall we say, rules. I decided it is high time for a serious approach to show jumping around here. In most parts of the world, you get faults if you knock poles down or if your horse refuses to jump an obstacle. I designed a course to train us in these rules. Why don't you try it? I installed some beautifully designed obstacles for a superior experience. Let me explain the rules to you. If you knock down a pole, that's four faults. If your horse refuses to jump, that's another four. Time is also a factor. The course has a set max time. If you exceed that, you'll get one extra fault per second over time. The goal is to complete the course as quickly as possible with no faults. Are you ready? Great, let's go. Complete the course as fast as you can. Let's just start it. See what happens. Oh yeah, look at how beautiful this course is. Isn't it gorgeous with these moons and clouds? This is the celestial theme one that I saw in the spoilers. <gasps> look at the butterflies. This is so great. I'm so happy to see show jumping. So this is temporary. Oops, I knocked that down. This is temporary in game. It's only going to be here until April 24th. Star Stable is going to be listening to all of our feedback and whether or not we like the show jumping and what feedback we have to give about it. And then they might consider implementing it as a permanent thing inside of the game. So make sure you give Star Stable your feedback. So you've got six weeks to try out the show jumping. Okay, so I did have a fault. Okay, good. That was fun. And you can do that with any horse. You do not have to have one of the newer breeds to do it. What? And every time you do it, you get 500 horse XP. Definitely add this to your training routine. Also, there's two new sets that were added to the game. The Tangerine Silks. Tangerine Silks riding set. Who says safety can't be stylish? Let's see, it looks pretty good. Yes, look at Ash too. And the other set is the Sage Silks. Oh, look at the little pom-pom. I love the little pom-pom on the helmet. I like this because it's like a little riding vest. Oh, and those gloves. Look at how textured they are. Oh, I spy some new horses. Carrot Cake, Flash. Oh, there's the gray right here. Her name is Gray Mare. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, and we're off racing. Don't forget to redeem that code. Bye, you guys.